And uh, we we'll start off with a BNFT. Aviation is the next growth pole. Two female KNUSC students win 100,000 Ghana cities at presidential pitch competition. And government officials to use cards during travels. Baumia as Gibbs unveils Easewage Ghana Link dual card. The Daily Graphic, retraction and apology. And uh, Daily Graphic is apologizing for something. Well, Accountant General to sign tertiary institutions on GIFMIS. Government direct salaries through Easewage to eliminate ghost names. KNUSD students win presidential pitch contest. And establishing Tardy Girls Missing uh, Identity, two families agree to DNA tests. The Daily Guide, Takradi Girls, Kidnappers or Serial Killers. That's the question being posed by the Daily Guide with two photos of Samuel Wills and John Oji. Workers to be paid electronically, according to Dr. Baumia, and NDC uh, Ghana card propaganda exposed. Number one, to meet Mezgold management and five Chinese killers grabbed. The Ghanaian Times, Veep launches GH dual payment card. Families of 44 Ghanaians killed in Gambia demand compensation. Bizarre, chief medded at Osinasi. A Northern Regional Minister wraps MMDCEs over failure to attend sanitation meeting. Finally, the business finder. Electronic payment for all government workers to eliminate ghost workers completely, Dr. Baumia. Reverse flow of gas from Takradi to Tema completed, GMPC is announcing. And PBC bailout, government to save 25,000 jobs. My guest on behalf of the NDC is lawyer Judy Tamaklo. Uh, we're here to receive the MPP's uh, representative this morning. But, Council, welcome. Good morning. Yes. How are you doing? Yes, uh, it's, good morning. It's a Thursday uh, morning. Thursday. We're feeling the vibe. Absolutely. <laughs> and uh, we want to give thanks to the Almighty God mm. uh, for the opportunity. As you also are aware, uh, we are on the uh, short legal vacation as well. Right. So we can do a few of these uh, engagements uh, whilst we go through this vacation. And so we want to thank uh, all the people we've interacted with within the legal year, uh, the judges that uh, we've been appearing before mm. with all our applications and what have you, and uh, the, the relationship that has always existed between okay. us mm. and uh, our clients as well. Um, our colleague lawyers, and so let me use this platform once again to say a good morning to your viewers mm -hmm. that each morning they are able to uh, join us mm -hmm. on a, a very powerful platform like this. This pa uh, platform is very powerful. In fact, it extends to the very border we took. Mm -hmm. I remember recently <laughs> I went to uh, Garu. Okay. And uh, when I got there, you know, people, oh, I, we watch you on uh, TV3. Okay. That's the extent to which, and this is almost at the border with uh, Togo and uh, Burkina. And so it gives okay. you your reach. Mm. Your reach. Great. Your reach. Your okay. Reach. Let's uh, focus on the, mm. the daily graphic. Uh, mm. We're getting an update that two families are agreeing to a DNA test. Our family members of two of the three missing Takradi girls have agreed to assist the police to conduct forensic examination to determine the identity of the skins that were retrieved from a suspect. And um, the, um, the discovery of the skeletons had stirred controversy as the families of the three girls insisted that they would not cooperate with the police in their quest to conduct DNA examination to establish whether the skeletons were those of the girls. And however, a high police source at the CID uh, told the Daily Graphic yesterday that the families of Priscilla Blessing Bentum 21 and Priscilla Mantibia Crunchy 18 have now agreed to the DNA test. And it will go on to state that, well, nobody uses blood for DNA tests the, or forensics these days. And that's what it, the source at the CID is saying. Even a toothbrush. And uh, it says, well, uh, saliva now is what they need. Mm. So the family's argument that samples were taken them from them uh, in February and nothing has been told to them uh, doesn't really hold. They also say that they have had to uh, marshal support from all the state security agencies uh, thus far. That's been a question that's been asked. But one would uh, want to ask a question then that uh, did we have to wait for all this while before they told us we're also learning from this report that um 
based on information supplied by Mr. Wills, the uh, Ghana Police Service sent a uh, crack team to Nigeria. They were in Calaba, they were in Port Harcourt, Odisha, and Anambra State and River State as well, too, because uh, that's where Mr. Wills told them that the girls could be, and yet they couldn't find them. So the story goes on. The the focus is is on. I've been joined also by Nana Damwa. Nana Damwa is uh, with the Energy Ministry. He speaks on behalf of the MPP as well. Nana, welcome. Good morning. Thank you very much. How Thank you, you doing? Very okay. Uh, this is the new turn uh, that, that we have. What say ye? Well, um, I want to first of all sympathize with the families um, when you lose a daughter or there is a potential for you to lose a daughter um, under such bizarre circumstances. You want to sympathize with a, such a family. And um, I also need to point out that my party completely associate with the pain that they are going through. Mm -hmm. It's rather unfortunate that government officers and government officials in the past mm -hmm. have tried in various mm -hmm. ways to either downplay the seriousness of this issue or um, cleverly find a way to divert attention from this critical issue. I make this point in relation to, as you recall, the comments made by the director CID, uh, Madame Tiwa Adodankwa, where on live television, unprovoked, she herself, together with the National Security, the BNI, decided to have a press conference. Okay. At this press conference, among other things, she told us, Okay. That they know where their girls are, mm. and then they are bringing their girls home. I mean, when your uh, your director CID speaks mm. on a critical issue like this, you and I do not have any reason whatsoever to doubt her. At least that's a work. But where it turns out that this statement from the director CID mm. had no basis in fact, and that. It was a complete fabrication, more or less, to divert attention from the critical issues confronting the family and how government had been so incompetent in managing the security of the state. Were, they, fact, were they going I'm, I'm by, by the words of if, the suspect, which is why no, she would make No, she never like even that. said that based on assurances from the suspect, okay. we have reason to believe that the kidnapped girls are in A, B, C, D place. No. Mm. She said they know where the girls are. And in fact, assured the family mm. that they are coming home. A newspaper associated with the MPP, a pro-MPP newspaper, is. Daily Guide, mm. subsequently also published the same thing. So now, if we are being told that the whole charade is now being reduced to skeletons, uh, remains, then it tells you that the people managing our security architecture have failed us. What is even more bizarre is that no president under the Fourth Republic, not even Jerry Rawlings with his military background, has surrounded himself with so much or many ministers associated with security than Nanado Dankwe Kufado. He alone has a minister of national security. Then he has a minister of state at the presidency in charge of national security. Then you have your national security coordinator, you have your BNI bosses, you have CID, and different, 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 you know, security, uh, you know, uh, architecture. All of this, the conclusion we are getting now is that, listen, for the first time, Ghana police, they are telling us mm. that when they first arrested, the Nigerian Mr. Wills. Mr. Wills. They never check where he lived. And that they never even, I mean basic security, you cordon off every other area the man had mm. lived. Mm. So now the police are telling us that throughout their investigation with all the fake assurances, mm. 
some the, the, the symbolic assurances. They never went to where he lived, inspected the surrounding areas, remove you know whatever it is in those surrounding. They never did. The police said they, they have been serious with the investigation. And that after nine months, mm. they are now going through septic tanks and other. First of all, they said they have been serious. First of all, if you put uh, you know human body, mm. okay, into a septic tank, the first one, two, three months, it will decompose. Mm. It will decompose. So once the body decomposes, what will be left? With the greatest respect, what will be left? So you see, when you have this level of incompetence, and this incompetence undermines the very security, I have always maintained, that the first rule of nature is self-preservation. And that is why if you look at chapter 14 of the MPP Manifesto 2016, mm. security, that's the whole headline, security. They attack the John Mahama administration and blame John Mahama for insecurity. So today, I am perfect to say that the growing insecurity in this country is as a direct result of the incompetence of Nana. If you Dango found it Trufado. wrong then, it is still wrong, isn't it? Oh, no. I mean, if they had put it, I am just going by mm. their reasoning, their logic. You find it right I hope, to equalize? No, at that time, mm. they said security is the critical issue because without it, you cannot have basic issues. Mm. And so they, they made security a key part of their campaign. And so the social contract, they signed with the people of this country in 2016, including security, ensuring that you and I, we can go about our businesses free. These young girls who today, at least from the BNI National Security, CID, we know that at least they have been kidnapped. And it's the failing. Can you imagine? But you see, I am the, not. The families see, are now agreeing see, to a DNA test after they said you know, they, you know, they have you see, to take you a see, stand you see, point you see, you until see. some you know answers why? are provided. Do you know why the, the, the family initially took this stand? How in God's name can this family begin to trust the current security architecture? Mm -hmm. An architecture that can tell you that your kids are coming. In fact, just a few days ago, Nanado Danko Kufado himself, the president, was in Western region. Again, he assured the family. So when our president speaks, can we trust his words? When the okay. leader of the republic, the commander-in-chief mm. of the armed forces, of all of us, there is only one man who gets almost up, daily... Up, yes, I'm wrapping up. Mm. Who gets almost daily briefing on the security situations of this country. And that's the president. And so when the president, together with his officers, meet the families and assure them that they are coming, we have made headways, the kids are coming, then tomorrow they are telling you that these kids are dead. Mm -hmm. We are beginning to think that these are their remains in a septic tank. Mm -hmm. We cannot trust this president. The level of dishonesty is, 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 is just annoying. And I'm so disappointed okay. this morning. Thank you very much. Uh, well, Nanadamwa. Uh, so the, the two families are now agreeing to the DNA test. They have taken a U-turn from an initial position that they were not going to oblige the police because in February some, some samples had been taken and they don't know what they've been used for. But we're also learning from the police that they have been serious with this uh, investigation. And at some point, even in the investigation, they had to change the focus of the investigation, orientation of the investigation. They started looking for clues that the girls might have been murdered for ritual purposes while planning on the next move of the investigation. Remember that he had handled a similar abduction case involving another Nigerian suspect eight years ago where the victim's remains were discovered in a manhole and Kalaba, Onisha, and all of that. Are we making progress? Are we... At a standstill, where are we going? Thank you very much. Um, good morning to you. Good morning to your listeners as well. Um, it's very, 
it's very imperative on all of us that when we are discussing matters that relate to national security, particularly the lives of young persons and their families are involved, we tread cautiously. Mm -hmm. I'm saying that it is so because, you see, when you seek to score political points mm -hmm. out of every issue, it gets to a point where you bind yourself and then your weaknesses will be exposed and it will be exposed in a very bad manner for everybody to see. <clears throat> Some statements have been made here on this platform, and I'd want you to confirm for me mm. if these are facts that came from the police. For example, we've been told that the police say they never searched the premises of the individual when he was arrested. Mm. Is, is that what the police said? They haven't said that. Uh, they haven't said that they searched the place either. Yes, they've but they haven't said. They've been silent on that matter. So let us not therefore seek to spring from there mm. and create the impression as though the police has said that they never did it. You see, I have trained in a cybersecurity environment before. And in there, you realize that a lot of the things that are done very often, there's a tag why we, there's a reason why we give the tag national security and a lot of the things that are not made public. Mm. This is an ongoing investigation. That's what we all need to be mindful of. It's an ongoing investigation. Now coming to sit on a national television, on a platform like this, and imputing statements to the police that they have not said, doesn't help anybody. I may understand why out of political desperation you may want to rile up the general public mm. and create the impression as though everything is going loose and the president, the nation is in tatters among others. I may understand that because you see, the but now presidential the now presidential candidate of the NDC in the year 2016 made a very bold categorical statement that in opposition, all you have to do is make the people believe that the government is not doing anything and that the government is going down, everything is in tatters. This was a statement that proceeded from the lips of the presidential candidate of the NDC, John Dramani Mahama. And today, when you see this, the, the, the stance that they have mm -hmm. and the communication that they are seeking to put forward, it suggests exactly the same thing. Because if that is not the case, mm -hmm. the kind of security threats that the West African subregion in itself mm -hmm. is seeing were not the same as existed in 2012. They're not the same as existed in 2015. Mm -hmm. They're not the same as existed in 2016. This government has done more than enough to ensure that at least the security apparatus is brought up to speed. But where are the recently, girls? recently, we discovered that some persons were arrested in a church with an ammunition. Do you remember? Right. Up north. Up north. Mm -hmm. And this is in line with threats that have come in Burkina Faso and other areas. But our security was able to at least capture that situation in a rural, not so rural, but in a remote area mm -hmm. of this country. This is not a crowd that we are talking about where we will have metal detectors among others. What sort of intelligence gathering mechanism was in place to ensure that those persons were apprehended? So let us not therefore seek to bastardize the entire the, country. The, the families of the girls are not happy. I'm making a point and mm -hmm. so if I'll, I'll get there. Let us not therefore seek to bastardize the entire thing that, oh, nothing is being done, everything is in tatters. The present, first of all, remains have been found. Do we have any conclusive evidence that those are the girls? Do we? Do we have any conclusive evidence? I don't answer that question. So, <laughs> the point I am seeking to make therefore is that let's tread cautiously. It may be that these are the girls. It may be that these are not the girls. We don't know. That Look, when the news broke, it broke that the girls have been found in a suspect pit. The police were pit, sorry. The police were fast enough mm. to come out and say, "No, let's tread cautiously. We are now going to do further tests how, to ascertain." How, how do we juxtapose that against the CID boss's uh, statements in two separate press conferences? I don't. How, how do we juxtapose now finding remains and the first one? We know where they are and we'll reunite them with their families. How do we just suppose that? I, I don't speak for the police. I don't speak for the, for the CID boss. She's still around. And I believe that subsequently, she has granted other investiga uh, sorry, interviews in which she has sought to say other things different from what she has said. I, I say that those statements of hers and the conflicts that arise out of it create a certain unnecessary uh, controversy that should not have been mm -hmm. a part of it. So let's situate that within that box of unnecessary controversy created by some officers mm -hmm. in the system. But let's focus on the work that the police itself has done so far. And I'm saying again that let us be mindful of not seeking to jeopardize and create an impression mm -hmm. of incompetence when there is none. Listen, 
even in the and and again, I I, I was even about work to, has the police done so far? If uh, three girls are missing, they have not been found. It's been a year uh, and and almost a year. They have mm. not been found, and they get assurance, and they still. Are we seeking to suggest that because? The police gave assurance mm. or because these girls have not been found the police have done no work so somebody would ask a question you are asking me a question that what work has been done mm. uh, just last week human beings were found in a suspect time i don't mm. think that they just woke up one morning and decided that let's go here and go and make mm. a find mm. it tells you that there's work ongoing this is a situation that is difficult this is a situation that is bad we all admit that but you should also be bold enough to acknowledge the fact that mm. work is ongoing. It's unfortunate that nine months or so after this incident happened, we are still going around in circles. Listen, mm. even the most developed of countries have had such challenges before. If, if that's a lie, please let, the, let your viewers know. Even the most developed of countries with the most uh, technology are still having such cases that come up from time to time. Because look, as we grow, criminals become more sophisticated. Mm -hmm. And the sophistication of, crimi of criminals, w w with the addition of technology, right, presents right. us mm -hmm. with a definite challenge that, as a nation, we need to rise up to. Mm -hmm. You would remember that you read that the police said eight years ago they, they uh, had conducted a similar investigation mm -hmm. and they are relying on all of these experiences to come up. I am grateful to the family. And the people of Ghana must stand with the family mm -hmm. and help them through these very difficult moments that well, they're finding themselves in. family is through. still not uh, playing ball. I understand. Say. I understand. And I think that it's, it's normal that they will do such things. Mm -hmm. However, we need to impress upon them that we need to let these issues get to a conclusive end. And they are the ones at this moment who can help us. Mm -hmm. I understand that this is a very difficult moment. Let's, let nobody make... Look, if it happened to me, my sister, my, my sister's children, or anybody like that, it would be a very difficult moment. And what I think we as a nation should do is focus on two things. Number one, mm -hmm. helping the family through these very difficult moments. Okay. And number two, ensuring that we, together with the police, work to solve this very difficult problem of ours. Okay. Look, when it came to several issues, mm, so, there, are so several, there are several cases that you can mention mm -hmm. over the years that have remained unsolved. What we should pray definitively and help the police to work out is that this does not become a part of the unsolved cases that we have in this we country. We were able to solve the Canadian girls issues. That exactly. Raise that exactly. Point. So it tells you also that the security architecture in this country is not in shambles as some people would want us to believe. Mm. Okay. It tells you, I'm coming, it tells you <clears throat> that we have people that are working. This, let's all admit, is a difficult situation. Mm. Nine months down the line, if we all have our way, this wouldn't have been it. And trying to drag in the president and make him look as... Listen, if you are a citizen of this country, mm -hmm. it could happen to your child. And I don't think that if it happens to your child, you, you would want to go out there and feed into the system this lack of hope and shatter and all of that. Okay. Well, oh, 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 I am not done. 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 Sorry. Thank you. Please, you're, you're, now, you're, you told me you were wrapping up. Yes, yeah, so what I'm saying minutes. is that, wrap, what wrap I'm up. saying and what I'm being mm. critical of is that let us not, therefore, mm, on the altar of political parochialism, mm -hmm. seek to feed this negative energy into the system okay. because we hope that we shall gain political mm -hmm. benefit. Bear in okay. mind, they are, we are aware of certain statements that have been made by certain people. For now, which we are in court. Now you are saying let's not be you political. No, no, but I'm just bringing in certain happy, things. That's all. I'm, no, no. He can even I've just brought in that. No, no, no. Don't worry. Let's, let's not I'm, turn no, this into no, 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 uh, football. But, he, I'm, but I'm you allowed him to go there when you're dragging the president and continue to attack the person of the president. This is hold on. If you say I allowed him to attack the personality of the no, president. No, I never even attacked. I've been charitable to the he, president. He, I, I don't think so. And, well, you took The kind of politics you guys did. Will, well. will I be, be, be allowed? You, but that is why, gentlemen. Will I be allowed? 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 Hold on. Will I be allowed? Hold on, gentlemen. Let's not politicize this. This is a matter of pain to the three families. And now perhaps a fourth family. And I have said, and I no, have so said, let's not politicize. I agree it. with you, but what I said, not for at which, all. What I said, for which you are taking me on, is that you allowed him to politicize this, 
and you are contesting that. And let me prove to you why I say no. that you allowed him to politicize no. it. Do you know something? No. So Hughes. Hughes, this is Ghana Web. With the greatest respect to you, I respect your platform a lot. Kidnap case. Our earlier search was not thorough. Police admit. And listen to the person speaking. Director of Public Affairs of Ghana Police Service, ACP David Oklu, has conceded that the police did a poor job when they initially conducted a search at the residence of the key suspect in the Takra Ade missing girls case. Now, it's important, and these are his own direct quotes. The, they earlier found clothing and sandals that they suspected belonged to one of the missing girls. He proceeded. Then finally, the remains were discovered at an uncompleted building where Samuel uh, Willis, whatever, Wilson. was re yes, was re-arrested. The investigations are underway to establish this. This is David Eklu speaking to Koku Ousuaje on Anopa Kasapa on Kasapa FM. And this is why he said, just for the record, mm -hmm. so that you cannot blame me for what I said. We had earlier gone where we found the human re remains. We had gone there to conduct similar searches last year, but that was not thorough. When we conduct an investigation, another person can subsequently, subsequently and say that, with my experience, these methods can be used. So the police themselves concede that their initial search they did was not thorough. Question? And this is reported. Can I, can I, can I, I, I to ask you a question? Go question? ahead. Do you acknowledge that this is in direct opposition to your statement? Which that one? the police never searched the premises of the individual. How could that be? I made a point that a proper police, what you do is that from the beginning of the investigation, mm -hmm. that should have been. Now, if you are conceding that even I'm the not search... Conceding anything. On, it's a question no, no, I'm not you. even talking about you. You are here to communicate for party. But that's, 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 that's what you are doing too. Yes, exactly. No, that's what I'm asking you. But I'm so, so his there's question, an institution of uh, hold uh, on, uh, hold uh, on. Uh, 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 hold on. His question, his question is that mm. you said initially that the police uh, didn't conduct mm -hmm. any search. Yes. Now he's saying that yes. this statement by ACP David mm -hmm. Clue mm -hmm. would go that they performed a search, but it was not thorough enough. Good. And that but, would be but contradictory but to what you said. No, it's not contradictory. It rather even firms fortifies my claim. All you, that I've hold on, all that I've tried to do on this platform is to demonstrate to you that the police under Nanado Danko Ekufuado have been so incompetent. The police I, will be the police with or without the president. No, but you know, leadership is core. All other things are effects. True of us, unless you don't believe in this one. <laughs> it's, the, it's the leadership, the command structure that demonstrates. So, the one who leads the police. But you see, I've made this point that my brother is trying to run away from. And so, I'll just wrap up on this. And I'm just quoting page 159 mm -hmm. of the MPP 2016 manifesto. And this is it. I'll quote and stop. Ghanaians are becoming increasingly concerned about their security due to the increasing levels of crime and lawlessness under the Mahama-led NDC government. So politicization of security. Today, Ghanaians do not feel safe. The Mahama-led government had failed the people of Ghana in terms of the security of the country and of its citizens. Our existing laws are not enforced, and when they are enforced, they are done selectively, often with much interference from the executive. Very important. The MPP government will secure peace and security of Ghanaians. Under the MPP government, mm. Ghanaians will feel safe on the streets and in their homes. Ghanaians will go about their daily business in their secure knowledge mm. that their persons, their properties, and life are safe under an MPP government. Okay. So this is the social contract. <laughs> this is what Ghanaians <laughs> believe. <laughs> And decided to vote for you. And you're so, not seeing that. And so you, under you don't every, see that. My, 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 my brother, go before the family of these kidnapped girls and speak these words to them. Whether having lost their precious and dear ones, mm. they feel safe in this country. But you, don't you feel safe? My brother, now in this country, it's like everybody for yourself. Because when even your security people you so trust give you assurance that all is well. You don't feel safe? 
Maybe you should speak to the family. No, I'm, I'm asking no, hold you. On. You should speak to the family of Ahmed. No, I'm asking Wale. you. You came no, here. Say, you no, came here for on, the paper hold review. On. You should speak to the family of Ahmed Swali. Mm. This is a guy under witness protection by the Ghana police. This is a guy who was assisting the Ghana police to investigate a matter. What happened? He was killed brutally. So if you say this is how our security to look, I'll concede that for you. No, I'm asking you questions. How can I, I be safe? Making statements. How can I be safe with this architecture, the confusion? What is going on? When my president gives me assurance the girls are coming, I can't even trust him again. Okay. Nana, take, take one minute on this one. Let's move oh, on. Let's, let's, uh, let's, it might, it let's, might be a bit troublesome. Maybe he should respond. There's a dual card I want us to talk yeah, about. He should, he should, he should deal, deal with the manifesto. Listen, Maybe listen. he can say it's not correct. I started by saying that let us not seek to put out sentiments that are not true. You ah. sat on this platform Which is not and true. said that the police never searched the premises of the individual when he was arrested. You've told, well, you falsified the statement. Let me put it that way. No, oh, I never I think you have never statement. Statement. I've been consistent with. No, no, no. I won't permit him to do this, to impugn me. I've told you, I will not. No, 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 no. no. I won't take that from him. He can do his statement. I have maintained. The Ghana it's police right. have it's been so incompetent. You are very aware that I can do worse than this. In fact, and I can do so, worse than so, 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 your own reading says that the police went there, but the police is admitting that perhaps they were not told. Listen, mm. they went to the police. They, did, they conducted the search. What they didn't do mm. was to go into a sus suspect tank. Exactly. Oh, exactly. This is Allah, getting Allah, out of Allah, hand. Allah, Allah, no, it's Allah. not getting out of hand. So don't misconstrue. I'm not misconstruing. The video is there. The video is there. Allow him to make If you have reservations, you can do it. Thank you very much. Now, what they didn't do was to go into a suspect tank. Would they mm. now admit that indeed they did not go into a suspect tank? They they because, it? because maybe the circumstances of the investigation, the focus, as you have said, mm. of the investigation so at the time they did not include that. But mm -hmm. they went there and they conducted the search. You put out there that they did not conduct a search. And I was very categorical when I started <laughs> my submission in asking you, you have nothing, that you I'm have coming, I am coming, I am coming, I have no have problem. I asked you mm. categorically when I started that did he see or is it a fact that the Ghana police have said mm. that they did not conduct a search? You mm. said they haven't said they did mm. and they haven't said they didn't. Wow. So it leaves. And I said for security reasons, sometimes some of these things are done. Exactly. On the same platform, you have brought a, 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 an article. So you are vouching for the credibility you of that said, article. You said you have brought that told. credibility. You said they were told. Listen. You I, said they were listen, told. And that that's why I, I, said said I okay. beg you. I okay. beg you. I beg you. Go ahead. The credibility of this. I'm coming. Mm. The credibility of this article is vouched for by you. And it impugns your earlier it. statement. I even showed it. It impugns your earlier statement and shows that you lack an understanding or knowledge of what has gone on in these affairs. Or <laughs> otherwise. How, how do you conclude? Can I'm you coming. Imagine? Otherwise. Otherwise, you this is it. Can if you, you knew, and I'm coming, mm. it's either you lack knowledge or you sought to engage in propaganda. Why? Because if it was within your knowledge at the time you were making those statements, that indeed the Ghana police had gone there, but they were not tall, and you chose to be categorical in saying mm. that the Ghana police had not conducted the search, for which mm. I asked you directly no. whether that was a statement from no. the Ghana police, then indeed, this is the fact. No. I'll repeat it. Let us stop trying to make political capital out of unfortunate statements or unfortunate it's not events in this capital. country. Listen, okay. it is your in eight years, 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 under the NDC administration, How not, have a, you competent not a single training program was organized for the Ghana police in eight years. In eight years. Okay. Now listen, when you, I'm coming and I'm Even landing. I'm landing, on, I'm landing on this matter. I am land landing on land this matter. You, now, this government has also gone further to resource the Ghana police more than ever. Look, you, you Dr. can't Dr. do that. Dr. 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 May I come in? Dr. Baumia Just told a blatant us, lie. Hold on for me. After the murder of uh, Chief Inspector Shilevi at Kwabenya Police Station, 
uh, Dr. Baumia promised all of us that we're going the to get CCTV, CCTV cameras. cameras in every police station. As we speak. It's been two years. I'm coming. No As we speak. Mm. I'm no, sure you are aware. No, no, no. Uh, hold on. Okay. Let me do As we right. speak, you are aware mm. that some procurements are being made for body cams <laughs> among others. Are you aware? Mm. Good. You can also not deny the fact that the vehicles and among others have been given you to the police. CCTV coverage. I'm not denying mm. that. I'm Vice saying President that. I'm saying. Chairman I'm coming. of the police council. No problem at all. As we speak, are you aware that some procurements are coming for which our friends are saying that the figures are wrong? Are you aware That's of that? That's for the military. Mm. I'm coming. And I'm, that's even oh, for you, I, no, I, I, let's I, set the record no, straight. We, no, I will ask my questions. Please. Defense ministry comes with a budget. I will ask my questions. What is this? But what is this, this money? But I'm really speaking, there's a whole sort of problem. Well. Please. But he should not mislead ah, no, I, it. It's, it's not I'm, your job to I'm, tell who misleads. Okay, okay, Don't be too boisterous. Go ahead. Go ahead. Now, here's my point. As we speak, you are aware that some things are in the process. What is that? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this gentleman cannot see okay. to kill himself. Let's, 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 let's your what your credibility is in tune. Okay. Yes. Now, uh, you you sat here all public, public sector, sector workers, workers. <laughs> your you are here. Off. <laughs> all public sector workers are to be paid through a common platform, <laughs> ease which to help remove <laughs> ghost names from government comes from military. and ensure oh. accountability Body and transparency in the public sector. Vice President Dr. Baumia has instructed. Now, they have a June 2020 <laughs> target for uh, next year and reaffirmed government's plan to ensure electronic financial payment by June next year for all government transactions and services. All M MDAs uh, to be networked electronically and uh, he is asking for uh, all payments to be made. Well, we're told that some 443 million Ghana cities have been saved by deleting two 26,589 government uh, ghost names. Okay, and uh, that's the president speaking there. This is what we have been told, that once we put everybody in a centralized place, we're able to police it. But it's not been the first time we've heard about it. I mean, every government assumes power and suddenly ghost names appear. And then the, the corresponding amount of money that has been spent to uh, remunerate them is so huge it drowns us, our economy goes, you know, into the tatters. Eduji, is this the the forward march we have been looking for? Well, I I strongly believe that the question of ghost names mm. um, is something that has been dealt with the public service uh, for many, many years. I recall, even in my University of Ghana days, uh, around 2006, 2007, mm -hmm. having to work briefly at the controller and accountant engineering department. Mm -hmm. And what we're doing was to look for uh, ghost names. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're deployed. That was your national service? No, national service. Vacation. Okay, okay. Industrial and attachment. Kind of. And you were looking so for ghost names? We were looking for ghost names. And so the whole republic, we have been looking for ghost names uh, for God knows how many... Uh, uh, generations now. So, and at every point in time, there had been an attempt to introduce. So, it started really under the NDC, where even if you go to your office, you okay. need to do what they call uh, biometric fingerprints. Mm -hmm. you, you lock in and lock out. Exactly. So, at least you know the number of persons who work in that institution. Mm -hmm. So, first of all, what they do is that you get registered. All your fingerprints are taken. Mm -hmm. Anytime you come to work, you log in, and when you are going, you log you, out. That cannot. Kind of, so as to know the people who are really, really working. So today, mm -hmm. and you see, the other part of this whole ghost name structure is the verification of the payroll. Mm -hmm. Who, because you see, the ghost, if quote unquote is a ghost, and salaries are paid through bank accounts. Who are the owners of these respective bank accounts? You understand? Mm -hmm. And so who and who have been going to withdraw the money from these ghost accounts? Mm -hmm. You need to find out. And so as part of the whole scheme, one of the things that we want to do and which government has continued today mm -hmm. is the whole idea of having to pay through a payment system. Okay. But if it's really the question of trace, like I pointed out, you can easily trace how much is paid into a bank account. Mm. Because once the money is integrated into the banking system, mm. every single bank account has a mandate. Right. Without the mandate, you can't do a withdrawal. Mm. Government salaries are also not paid on the counter, where you just go and sign a sheet of paper mm. and you are paid mm. or given the money in your hands. So this is really not going to change the real issue. 
at the end of the day, I strongly believe that the, what the, you... The vice president thinks otherwise. That yes, look, obviously. This I mean, will save us money. Uh -huh. But you see, the point is that the one doing the payment, that's controller, they will be doing the payment. Right. And they would initiate that the payment should be made through the various accounts. Mm. The only thing about this is switch is that maybe at the end of the day, you, you, you have a situation where you think you can trace the money mm. to the very last person who takes mm. the money. Mm. It's the same thing as the bank account. Mm -hmm. If we are really, really minded, you can go to every institution of state and say that okay. this month, this is the amount that was paid to, say, Public Works Department of AMA. Mm -hmm. These are the number of accounts that was presented to controller. Right. Who and who went to these uh, uh, banks to withdraw the money. So that can easily be done. So I do not think this... Uh, anything so unique. Mm. I think it's a consistent thing that we've been doing over the period. And this thing that I told you what I was doing mm. was under Kufo's administration. Okay. 2006 to When you were looking for ghost names. Absolutely. And in fact, those days, the University of Ghana will go to controller and were deployed to almost all the MMDCs mm. to just go and fish out ghost names. Mm. We've done that. That's 2006. I'm here 2019, mm. still talking about the phenomenon of ghost name. But you see, there's a real problem that we are not talking about. Which is? The people who generate the talking? names. Mm. The people who generate the names okay. to controller. Mm. That's really where the problem is. Okay. The primary source. The primary source. Mm. As for the payment point, that's the tail end of the, you know, the, the, the ghost name value chain. That's the tail end. But, but, but I mean, we, we saw civil servants being asked to re-register and do biometric registration. You, you know, so now then after all those processes are done, the pruning is done, the cleaning up is done, why would we still have ghosts in the system? Exactly. So it gives you an indication that there's a critical issue of enforcement. Do you know the Auditor General had come out to say that look, if monies are paid to you wrongfully there's the possibility of being surcharged. Okay. And so the amount is disallowed. Mm. What have we done about it over the period? Look, immediately you hold the head of an institution, the HR managers responsible. This whole matter is, will stop. Nana. Thank you. This is uh, good news, according to the Vice President. Gibbs says, well, this would change the face of it. And I remember that they, uh, when the National Service guys started receiving their uh, stipends through uh, the East Ridge, it cut out a lot of uh, ghosts who were in there as well. In the National Service scandal, you know, things like that are much more difficult to repeat mm. in, in, in the present times. But let me state mm. on authority. I, is this the forward match? I'll ask you the same question. Let me state on authority that as we speak today, the Ghana police is receiving training, constant training ongoing, which never happened in eight years. Secondly, we have moved on from the security I, I, it's, it's thing. It's a time. So now you're you, using your time. Yeah, so if you just let me land. No, because if you use your time and you tell me you didn't get enough no time, problem. I won't agree no, with you. No problem. Thank the you. second thing is that they have developed, they've even gone to the extent of developing training manuals. And the point is, if you didn't have training manuals, then you can imagine how our, our detectives across the country were being trained. You are, can are only you working use, on their port bellies too? You see, I'm sure that they have to do this. It is, it is, it is, it is, it is, it is the constant training. It is the constant training that will ensure that they are up to a certain level of activity. Okay. And so you will see that our policemen are in shape among others. And hopefully, as it continues across the length and breadth of the country, we'll see that. Mm -hmm. So let us not, therefore, I'm repeating this point, seek to bastardize the Ghana police service. They are doing a good job. And let's not put out on troops in defense of, 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 of narrow political patronage or whatever it is that we want to call it moving on to this issue listen i don't think that we have fully digested what is happening mm -hmm. now i'm glad again that the dg admits that in 2006 2007 during the era of president kufu some initiatives were ongoing to ensure that ghost names were mm -hmm. dealt with and dealt with permanently mm -hmm. We've been the doing East that you remember, you remember mm -hmm. that the East Ridge was introduced under the governance of, of President Kufo. Mm -hmm. In the eight years, I would want him to tell us what they did with the East Ridge mechanism over eight years. If you invite him, he will disrupt your presentation. I'm saying, no, 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 Can listen, 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 listen. Okay. If you allow me, I said I would want him to tell us on his own time. And it's, it's, it's an invitation. It's, it's I'm coming. It's an invitation. He can either accept it or not. What I know, I what I know, oh, yeah, yeah. What I know is that <laughs> this is a measure mm -hmm. that... And listen, oh God, it deals with it.
permanently. Yeah. We've been dealing with God's name since independence. I like what you have said. Mm -hmm. But the reality is that we've never really got to that point where we can put a definitive stop to it. Mm -hmm. What we are now doing is the linkage of two systems. The G8 link system and the EZ system. Bear in mind, all of these come with biometrics. So indeed, someone's biometrics must be on those things before you can go and access the How different the is, funds. is this from the initial biometric registration that the workers they should were, tell us, were made to go through? They should have told us how comprehensive that was. Because you see, you'd realize that as you move into the rural areas of Ghana, the, the technology access to inter uh, sorry, internet among others become a challenge. So they should tell us how comprehensive it was. Over 100%, where did they get to? And what were the loopholes that people are exploiting? Because what is factual is that if indeed this exercise covered the entire country, this wouldn't be happening. Really? If indeed, and that's the point I'm trying to make to you, if indeed, <laughs> unless someone fraudulently sat somewhere and went through the system to generate, mm -hmm. and whoever did that must have had that's high that's level... It. May I? No, but you say, I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to help. But please, you say, I don't need your help. So let me say, I don't need your help. 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 The point is, if that's the case, then it means that some high level individuals were able to intentionally go in there and defraud the system. Now, listen, I am saying on authority that this linkage, GH link together with Israel, has not existed till now. We are now seeing it. Mm. Together with the other interventions that have been brought into this country, moving us further along in the digital age, mm. that has been championed by Dr. Mama Dubaumia mm. once again. We are now getting to that point where Ghana as a country can see a definitive end to some of these things that has always plagued our country. Listen, would, in would, this this time, stop, would this stop the era of ghost names, save us money, and, and block all the loopholes? It will block all the loopholes, and it will definitely, if all the loopholes are blocked, it will save us amount of money that will surprise all of us. Mm. What is interesting is that, listen, when you speak of digital digitalization, they tend to laugh because they don't understand the system. How? But listen, <laughs> listen, you have you now have uh, the GPS application that mm. tells you that that tells us that this is where you live. Mm. Remember that is being linked to your Ghana card. It, so it, pay your the, Ghana the G, card. The GPS is is had its own set of challenges. No problem at all. Whatever challenges it is that they said <laughs> they have, nobody can say that a system from bed, even Microsoft, wasn't from bed perfect. But what is interesting is that we are taking the giant steps towards these things. Remember, it is but, linked. But if you don't have remember, your GPS it is linked. Right, I'm coming. How do you find I'm coming. Your, your I'm coming. It is remember, it is linked to your uh, your Ghana card. Mm. And remember that in the future, we are going to link that to your passport, to your driver's ID, and all of that. So when you go and you say you are going to withdraw your money, we know who you are. We know where you live. You know all other details about you. Any non-matching of this data will expose you. And okay. that is where we can get to. So when you speak about the digital agenda, this is a government led by a man do, do, do that we, understands... Do we have timelines for this digital agenda? Oh, you can read the story for yourself you, as you do have we read. have it? I'm, you know, I'm telling, the, I'm the, telling the, you the that... Dual, the dual, uh, what do you call it, is for 2020 June. No problem okay. at all. Now listen, the entire wait, digital hold on, agenda... Hold on, hold on. You know when is the Ghana digital oh, system? The Ghana card there is a, uh, there is a human interface. Mm. Do you know that? Mm. Every digital or IT interface all over the world. Exactly There's right. a human... What is your alternative? And, and you see... What the is your alternative? Hold on. The human the influence alternative? is almost 70 What is because the NDC's alternative? Because at the end of the day, who does the imputation? Mm. Is it not what the is the NDC's alternative? So immediately, what is the garbage in, garbage out. Mm. Mm. What is the NDC's alternative? This whole system that we are is the NDC's alternative? It started under us. Oh, please. Okay. It started under us. What is the alternative? But you see, ask my brother. What is the alternative? You are saying there's a human interface. Can you ask my brother? What is the alternative? Okay. What is your alternative? 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 You don't have a message. The message is still with you. What is your alternative? What is your alternative? What is your alternative? Please. Well, it's about alternatives and whether I can work or not. You don't have a message.